Consider point of sale system. It is typically used in part to record sales and payments in a retail store or a supermarket. This is a realistic problem from a straightforward problem domain. The point of sale system is a computerized application. Point of sale system has also hardware components such as a computer and barcode scanner and the software to run the system. Point of sale application interfaces to various service applications such as third party tax calculator and inventory control. These subsystems must be relatively fault tolerant. That is even if remote services are temporarily unavailable such as the inventory system. They must still be capable of capturing sales and handling at least cash payments so that the business continues to operate. The point of sale system increasingly must support multiple client side terminals and interfaces. These include a thin browser client terminal, a regular personal computer with something like a swing graphical user interface, a touch screen input, a wireless access, and so forth. Furthermore, we are creating a commercial sales system that we will sell to different clients. The clients may have distinct needs in terms of processing the business rules. Each client will desire its own unique logic to execute at certain predictable points. In scenarios of using the system, such as when a sale is initiated, we need a mechanism to provide flexibility and customization for a specific client. Another use case example would be adding a brand new line item to the store inventory. Using an iterative development strategy, we are going to proceed through requirements, object-oriented analysis, design, and implementation. A typical object-oriented information system is designed in terms of several architectural layers, in other words, subsystems. User interface is a graphical interface, such as Microsoft Windows or apps windows in Linux environment. The application, its domain objects, and software objects, represent business domain concepts in the system. To demonstrate, consider software class, named Sale. The application layer fulfills application requirements. Technical services layer covers general purpose objects and related subsystems. They provide supporting technical services, such as interfacing with a database or error logging facility. These services are usually application independent and reusable across several systems. First iteration of our case study primarily emphasizes the problem domain objects. At this stage we propagate the responsibilities to objects. The objects must fulfill the requirements of the application. Object-oriented design is also applied to create a technical service subsystem for interfacing with a database background. In this design approach, the user interface layer has very little responsibility. Intentionally, the user interface layer has a very thin design. User windows don't contain any logic code to perform application reasoning or data processing tasks. Such task requests are forwarded to other architectural layers. In the first iteration, the core set of analysis, topic designs, and notation is presented by the designers. The second iteration expands into new ideas, UML, notation, and patterns. Later, 
iterations expand the functionality of the system. Furthermore, 